Hi, this is Dave from yearbooksdesktop.com and today we're talking about the Object Properties Toolbar. So if you've used our program before, one of the first things you may notice about the page editor is that many of the buttons on the right hand side of the screen have been moved and most of these have been moved to the Object Properties Toolbar. You can pull that up by right clicking on any of the objects that you've placed on a page and choose Object Properties from the right click menu. And this brings us to the Object Properties Toolbar. So this toolbar is used to manipulate and control any of the objects that you've already placed on the page. Uh, the top of this screen contains text controls, there's some candid controls towards the bottom, and of course on the left hand side we've got our positions and dimensions so that you can specifically place or rotate object objects on the screen wherever you want them to be. Towards the top, the text area, if you have a text box selected, of course you can change the font or the size of the font or, you know, give it bold. Also, you can select from a style. If you're using the same style of text throughout your book, you can choose a style here as well. Below the text controls, we've got the candid controls. Uh, so if you have a candid selected, you can add a border or a drop shadow to that candid. Um, you can also add a caption. Um, anything you want to do to a candid, you'll be able to, uh, to affect here. Towards the top of the toolbar, we've got a few tabs to go through. We're on the Object Properties tab right now. The next tab over is Object Color, and this tab affects the color of objects that you've placed on a page. Now, it doesn't do anything to candidates, but if you have a shape like a square or a circle or a line, you can change the fill color of that shape just by choosing a color off of this palette. The next tab over is the Effect Color, and this is to change the color of any effects, like a, like a border or a drop shadow that you may have added to a candid or a shape. So if you have a candid with a border, for example, like we have here, we can change the color of that border just by choosing a color off of this palette here. Finally, the Alignment tab contains alignment and layering controls for the objects on the page. So if you want to align objects together or to the grid, or if you want to layer objects on top of one another, uh, that can all be done from this tab here. Alright, so it's pretty straightforward. Uh, thanks for watching our video, and we'll see you next time.